This is the homework for 888, 93A, 94, and 95. In question 88, you need to decide which are correctly written in scientific notation. And if they're not, you need to rewrite them in scientific notation. So you have to remember, for scientific notation, um, n has to be greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. So when written as n times 10 to the a. So n is a number multiplied by 10, a is an integer. Um, so positive or negative whole numbers, so like um, 1 or its opposite, negative 1, 5 or negative 5. So for the first one, 10 to the negative second power, that works, that's an integer. But if we look at 92 and 5 tenths, that is, doesn't um, meet the requirements. This number has to be greater than or equal to 1, which it is, but it also has to be less than 10, which it isn't. So this is not true. It's not in scientific no notation. It's, not, it's greater than or equal to 1, but less, not less than 10. So now to write it in scientific notation, what we're going to do is we will need to move the decimal from here to here. So we need to dec decrease this value, because once we bring the decimal to here, then we have 9 and 25 hundredths. So we're decreasing the value of this by 1. So now that we have the decimal here, we have 9 and 25 hundredths. But if we decrease this by one place value, then we have to increase the exponent by 1. So we're decreasing this number. Um, this had a larger value. Now it has a smaller value. So if we're making this left side a smaller value, this side has to be a greater value. So we're decrease, decreasing it by 1, then this increases by 1. So we add 1 to the exponent. So negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. So now it meets all of, the, all of the requirements. n has to be greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10, which it is. And we have an integer as an exponent. b is written in scientific notation n is greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10, because it's 6 and 875 thousandths, and we have an integer exponent, so positive 2. c is also written in scientific notation. n is greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10, and we have um, the exponent is an integer. For 93a, we need to determine the coordinates of each point of intersection without graphing. So I'm going to use the substitution method. Since I have both of these equations in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, y equals mx plus b, I can use the substitution method. So if y equals 2x minus 3, if that's what y equals, then I can plug it into this y. So then I set them equal to each other. So now I have, instead of y, I have 2x minus 3. 2x minus 3 equals 4x plus 1, and that's where it is here. Now I want to get the x's to um, the side that has the greater value. So um, inverse property of addition is subtraction. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides created a zero pair, 2x, 4x minus 2x equals 2x. Now, I, inverse property of addition is subtraction. Subtract one from both sides, created a zero pair. What you do to one side, you do to the other. Negative three and negative one is negative four. 2x is multiplication. Inverse property multiplication is division. So I'm gonna divide both sides by two. Here I created the giant one, or big one, um, and then here, negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. 
So negative 2 equals x, or x equals negative 2. Well, now I found the x value, um, the x coordinate. So now I take the x coordinate, and I can plug it in to either equation. I can pl plug it into the top equation or the bottom equation. So I like to do, plug it into the top equation, which I did here. And so now I took this equation here, y equals 2x minus 3, and I substituted x with negative 2, which I got from here. So here's the negative 2. Negative, and then now I have to follow order of operations, um, gem dos, so I have to do um, no grouping, no exponents, but multiplication and division from left to right, so multiplication. 2 times negative four, 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 and negative 3 is negative 7. So now I found my y value. So the coordinates the point for the point of intersection are negative 2 for x and negative 7 for y. In 894, I need to write each number that's in standard notation into scientific notation. And remember, scientific notation, the n value has to be greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. So this number um, cannot be greater than 10, and it cannot be um, less than 1. So here we have 5,467 and 8 tenths. Well, that does not meet this requirement. This is much greater than 10. So I'm going to move the decimal to until I get a value that's between these two. So I moved it over one, two, three place values. So I decreased the place value, um, or I decreased the value of this number um, by moving the decimal place three um, places to the left. So now it's five and 4,678 ten thousands multiplied by 10 to the third power. And it's to the third power because, remember, I um, decreased this value. So this is now a smaller value. So I have to multiply it by a larger value. And one way to check to see if this is done correctly is just do the inverse. If I uh, moved it three places to the left um, to put it in scientific notation, now I multiply it and make the value greater three places to the right, one, two, three and I get the same value, so I did do it correctly. In B, I have a very small number, and so it's much less than one. So I move, I'm gonna increase the value by moving the decimal place one, two, three places to the right. So I have three and two tenths times 10 to the negative third. And since I um, increased the value, here, I went from a very small number to a number that's greater than 1, um, but less than 10. So I have to multiply it by the negative exponent to get that fraction. And again, you can check to see if it's correct. Here's where 3.3 and 2 tenths is. If I multiply it by a negative 10 to the third power, 1, 2, 3, I get back to the original. For C, I have a very large number. I, um, it's much greater than 10, so I have to have, remember the parameters, greater than or equal to one, but less than 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I decrease the value um, by six place values. So here's my decimal. So I have to increase it, multiply it by 10 to the sixth power. In 895, I need to simplify each expression, expression using the rules for exponents. So here's 3 to the 5th. That's 3 times 3, 5 times. And 3 to the 10th is 3 times 3, 10 times. Well, when I expand it out like this, you can see I have um, big 1s. 3 divided by 3 is 1. There's another 1, 1, 1, 1. So, those will all be eliminated because of identity property of multiplication. Anything multiplied by one is itself. And I left it multiplied by one here because it's not zero that's left here. If I multiply something by one, it's not changing the value of this. So think of it as like a placeholder here. 
because I'm not left with one. I mean, zero here, I'm left with one. So it's one over, and it's one, two, three, four, five, three to the fifth power. And I leave it in this form because if you have an exponent that's four or less, go ahead and simplify it. If it's five or greater, leave it um, in exponent form. The other way of solving this is remember dividing integer exponents with the same base you subtract the exponents. So you keep the base, the base is three, so here's three, and five, and I treat this like a subtraction, the division bar, like subtraction, just to remind me that I'm subtracting these two, five minus 10, five minus 10. Well, five minus 10 is negative five. Well, can't have a negative exponent, so you bring it down, um, you take the reciprocal, so you bring it down to the denominator, which is one over three to the fifth power. For B, I wanna simplify this first. So I'm gonna distribute this negative two. And there's other ways of doing this, but this is just one way. So I'm gonna distribute this negative two to this first term and to the second term. Um, this is 10 multiplied by x, so I'm gonna do it to both terms. So here is to the first term, 10 to the negative second power, and x to the negative second power. Now you can see that I have like terms. Right? These um, variables, x's, are like terms, and the 10's are like terms. And when you're multiplying integer exponents with the same base, so here's 10, um, you add the exponents. So I put a 1 here. So um, to remind me that um, 10 to the first power, that helps me when I add 1 plus negative 2 is negative 1. And now I'm going to do the x's and keep the base. Here's the x. 4 plus a negative 2 is 2. Or you can say 4 minus 2 is 2. Well, can't have a negative exponent. You take the reciprocal, which brings it down to the denominator and the x squared will stay in the numerator. For c, I'm just gonna expand um, 1 fourth to the third power, which is 1 fourth multiplied by itself three times, multiplied by four squared. Well, here's four squared, four times four, and I wrote it as a ratio or a fraction over one. Now I'm going to simplify this. 1 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1 is just 1. So now I have two fours. So that's 4 squared. And then I have um, 4 um, times 4 times 4, which is 4 to the third power, times 1 times 1, keeps it as 4 to the third power. Now I can s simplify this. Um, division of integer exponents. You s if the same base, keep the base, and subtract the exponents, two minus three. So two minus three is negative one. And negative one, we'll take the inverse, or the, the reciprocal of this, which would make it one fourth. Remember, you can't have a negative exponent. In problem D, I'm going to distribute this th um, three, this exponent to each term that's inside the parentheses. Remember, this exponent um, is belongs to every single term in this group. Parentheses is grouping. So, and remember, a power raised to a power, so I could put a one here, one here. Power raised to a power, you multiply. So one multiplied by three is three. One multiplied by three is three. So I have x to the third, y to the third. Um, and then now I put um, a one here to remind myself that when you're dividing integer exponents, you subtract. So the same base, so x is my base here, x. Three minus one, so three minus one is two. And then now y, this base, is the same base. Three minus three is zero. Well, anything to the zero power is one. So we're left with x squared.